wraps up today ready for english time together so let's start today we are going to talk about the imperative so what does it mean imperative امری میخوایم یاد بگیریم چجوری جملات امری و دستوری رو استفاده کنیم در زبان انگلیسی So our grammar today is the imperative So here we can divide imperative sentences to positive and negative جملات امری و دستوری رو به جملات مثبت و منفی تقسیم بندیش میکنیم So what is the structure? In positive and negative both of them we shouldn't tell or write subject in our sentences دیگه جمله جمله دستوری امریه پس هیچ وقت subject توی جملات امری و دستوری نمیاریم We know what does it mean subject فائل So positive and negative both of them no subject in positive imperative sentences infinitive form without to فعلی که استفاده می کنیم باید فعل infinitive باشه بدون to for example be quiet فعلی که استفاده می کنیم باید حالت simple باشه و ing به خودش نگیره be quiet این یک فعل مثبت امری هستش ساکت باش no subject فایل استفاده نشده و فعل ما infinitive form without to هستش be quiet ساکت باش so what about negative again no subject here and the structure is do not plus infinitive verb don't shout so the example for negative imperative sentences is don't shout or do not shout both of them are correct dad nazan don't shout no subject and the structure is like this do not don't and infinitive verb so where we use imperative sentences cardboard جملات امری و دستوری the first one is advice نصیحت کردن advice look at this example get some sleep no subject and the structure is infinitive form without to this is positive imperative get some sleep یکم بخواب Another example, tell her how you feel. بهش بگو چه احساسی داری. Tell her how you feel. Again, like the structure in positive imperative. So, the first one is advice. So, the next one is warning. هشدار دادن. Don't touch the fire. با آتیش دست نزن. Don't touch the fire. The next one is orders. دستور دادن. Fasten your seat belt. کمربندت رو ببند. Fasten your seat belt. So warning and orders are some application for imperative sentences. So the next one is... Offers invitations. Offers invitations. Davat ba'amal avodan. Look at this example. Come and sit with us. In this example, we have two imperative sentences. Do to jomle amri darim ke ba in kar borde. Davat invitations estafade shode. Bia va ba ma with us. Benchin, come and sit with us. Or another example, we can say, have some cookies. Yekam, 
شکلات بخور یکم بیسکویت بخور Have some cookies پس برای دعوت کردن تعارف کردن The next one is instructions instructions وقتی یه راهنمایی میخوایم بکنیم دستورش رو میدیم for example press the green button press the green button دکمه سبز رو فشار بده press the green button another example for instruction we can say Open the package carefully. Again, I'm going to repeat for you. Open the package carefully. Package row با دقت carefully باز کن. Open. Open the package carefully. پس جهت آموزش دادن راهنمایی کردن که خواستیم امری دستور استفاده کنیم هم از دیگر کاربرد هاش هستش so offer invitations and instructions or another applications for comparative sentences so here i wrote for you some examples for imperative sentences we are going to check that each of them is what kind of imperative sentences for example the first one stop talking stop talking is imperative sentences sohbat nakon sohbat kardan ro mutawaqqif kon so orders داریم یک دستوری رو میدیم orders stop talking have some cake have some cake یکم کیک بخور so what kind of imperative sentences is this have some cake yes you're right this is offers invitations برای دعوت کردن have some cake The next example, open the box carefully. جعبه رو با دقت باز کن. This is instructions. آموزش دادن یک چیزی. Open the box carefully. So, the last one is call me soon. Call me soon. زود به هم زنگ بزن. Positive imperative sentence. Again is kind of order actually Hamun Dasu Dodanhast. So this is all about imperative sentences. Have a nice day.